hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how basically you can convert uh, microsoft excel file into a pdf file inside python so basically this is a python script guys so we have this uh, sample.xls file here you have seen uh, we have four columns id name username email and we have four rows of data here one two three four you will see the name username email so if i try to basically convert this to a pdf document if i run this python script it will automatically run and it will now create basically this file which is output.example.pdf if i now open this pdf file guys you will see basically this excel data which is contained inside the excel document is converted successfully along with the column names which is id name username email and we have got the records out there you can see one two three four so this is basically the single page and this is you can see the name all the things are exported really successfully with good quality and uh, this is the python script we will be writing in this tutorial step by step guys so we are using basically two libraries for this purpose we are using first of all report lab report lab basically it's a python library which is used to export pdf documents so it's a pdf library and also we are using open py excel this is a library which is used to work with excel documents so we are using these two libraries i have given all the source code guys in the description of the video so i have written a complete blog post the link is given in the description of the video and also so a uh, full source code is also given so just go to the description of this video so now let's get started so the very first thing we will do we will basically make a simple app.py file and right here you need to basically install this package which is pip install report lab and also you need to install this package open py excel this is the two packages you need to install here i have already installed these two packages so now we will first of all inside this we will import the operating system module and then we will from this module which is open py excel we will import this module which is load underscore workbook and then we will basically import the report lab dot lib dot page sizes and from this we just need to import the letter and also we need to import the landscape and again from report lab lib dot units we need to import the inch unit and lastly from report lab pdf generation we need to import the canvas so these things we need to import guys at the very top these are the libraries that we will be using here and now after this guys basically now we will basically start this application python application and inside this we will basically uh, give the path here so here you need to basically give the excel path so wherever you are storing your we will be using the operating system module path it contains a path property and again it contains absolute path and here you need to provide the absolute path of your excel as file guys so i basically inside my root directory this file is containing you will see it contain four records four columns out there so we are basically providing this file as an argument here and also we will be providing the output file file path like this so this file will be created so let me call this as result.pdf so after this guys now we will be basically be calling a custom function which will carry out this process for us which will be excel2 underscore pdf and here we will pass the excel path and the pdf path that's all so now we need to create this function guys so right here at the top we can create this function we can define this function to create the pdf file from an excel file so define excel2 pdf and here we will have two uh, variables path excel path and pdf path and basically inside this function guys what we will do is that we will say workbook and here we will use this method guys which is load underscore workbook and which is coming from this library which is open py excel so it basically we will be loading this excel path excel file we will pass the path here so this will load the workbook 
and inside the workbook we have the worksheet guys and here we will basically say workbook dot active sheet so this will get the current sheet of the excel file so if i now print this let's suppose so what will happen guys if i now execute this python script python app dot py you will see it will basically target the sheet one if i open this you will see sheet one is there you can see that it is targeting that and also if i also print the print this workbook as well so you will see it will contain this excel you can see open py excel this is actual workbook and inside this it contains this sheet one so we can delete this so after getting the current sheet number guys what we can do is that we can basically get the maximum rows variable we can get the number of columns and rows which are available by using these properties which is max row and max column so we can save worksheet max column so we can just print out them so this will tell you exactly how many columns and how many uh, rows are available inside the file if i run this script now you will see five uh, rows are there and four columns are there exactly it matches four columns are there id name username email and five columns are there this is the first oh, sorry first row second row third row fourth row fifth row so we are get, getting exactly the correct information and now after this guys we need to say the canvas dot canvas and after this we will pass the pdf path and the second argument will be the page size so page size guys either it can be portrait or landscape because we are imported landscape at the very top you can see we are importing landscape you can even import portrait as well it totally depends upon you so we are using page size to be landscape and here we need to pass our inside this function it's a function and here we it takes the letter actual letter here so this letter is basically we have also imported you will see and after this guys we need to set some margins so margin of the actual pdf document which will be containing the excel file so this is not mandatory but you need to set the margins so 3 multiplied by the inch that we imported from the report report lab library you will see this is basically and uh, this can be customizable so accordingly you can set this 0.75 multiplied by inch this will be the left margin similarly we will have the bottom margin so this will be 0.7 multiplied by margin one sorry inch and uh, similarly right margin 0.75 inch and after this guys we can basically calculate the cell width and height how many how much width that you want to give here for each uh, cell so we can calculate by using this formula guys so you can just write this formula so this needs to be divided by the maximum columns and similarly we can calculate the cell height as well we can simply say again here this time this will be 8.5 multiplied by inch minus top margin minus bottom margin and this needs to be divided by the maximum rows this is your cell width and cell, uh, cell height guys and now we will basically use a for loop guys for how many number of rows in range this will be one uh, comma max row plus one and then basically what we will do guys uh, after this we will simply say we will have an inner loop for the columns we will say for column in range again one comma max column plus one so there needs to be this colon symbol guys so just make sure that you put the colon symbol and right inside this guys we will get the actual cell which we can get using worksheet dot cell and inside this you need to pass the row value and the column value and then basically we can get the actual string which is present inside that so we can say cell dot value you can even print out the cell dot value like this so basically what it will return to us if i run the script 
it will return all the things id name username email then it will run four times every time you will see that so now we simply need to uh, insert this data in the pdf document after we get this we can simply say x code x will be left margin plus column so we are calculating the x coordinate and the y coordinate so this is again some math formula cell width and y will be 11 multiplied by inch and minus and then we will say top margin plus row multiplied by cell height so we can simply now say c dot it contains this method guys which is draw string and here we can draw something on the pdf document at these locations x comma y and the actual text that's all now to save this pdf document guys we can simply call this method which is outside this for loop which is c dot save so basically if you write this now c dot save this will actually save this pdf document so now if you run this python script guys on the left hand side you will see basically result or pdf file will be created you will see this has been created if i try to open this file you will see that basically now we have successfully exported our excel file content to a pdf document you will see one two three four and uh, if i now make any sort of modifications let's suppose if i change this top margin to uh, let's suppose 8 multiplied by inch if i again refresh so if you refresh now it will go outside so you can just customize this but uh, i think it's a i have chosen the appropriate values so you don't need to change it so your data will be successfully exported this is the python script if you want the script you can go to the description of the video to copy paste all the source code and i will be seeing you in the next one